Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Sedona, Arizona. What am I doing here? Well, I was at the Las, I was in Las Vegas, uh, Craggy Wash, Boulder City. Been out there for quite a while, looking for a kind of a change of scenery. Um, I got some friends in uh, Colorado that I was thinking about seeing. So, but I was on Craigslist and I saw a stowaway hitch hauler on the uh, Craigslist out here. Called the guy up. He still had it. Well, I called him about a week ago, and it's just too far for me to go to from Vegas to come get it. Well, I called him back uh, last night, this morning. I said, hey, you still, this this morning. I said, you still got it? And he said, yeah. I said, well, I'm going to go to Colorado. Either I'm going to go through Utah or I'm going to go through Flagstaff. I said, if you've got that hitch hauler, I'd like to have it, and I'll come through Flagstaff on my way. He said, come get he it. He purchased a used Class B and it already had this installed on it. Um, he's uh, big into bicycling and whatnot, and he loves the stowaway box, but he needs room to put bicycles on the back of his RV. He said that's the only reason that uh, he's selling it. These sell for $800 new, delivered before tax, and I bought this for $450. So there's a lot of room in here, and this unit pivots out. So I can open up my back doors. So I'm going to have to change these out, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that rear platform. but. But nonetheless, I got to get to work. Interesting ride in here uh, on 40. It took me about three or four hours to get here. I saw a flatbed hauling Lance truck campers. I never seen truck campers transported. Have you? Here's a little video clip. Have you guys ever seen truck campers being transported? I have not. So I thought. Maybe you'd like to see how they got them on the trailer here. These are Lances. It's a special trailer made for this, it looks like. Two on that bed. One on the back of the truck. Avery Transport. That was fun to see. And then the next thing I saw was a flatbed. The guy had this wild stallion tied up on the back of his flatbed with these huge straps to keep the horse from coming off. 40 up to Flagstaff and uh, run across this guy right here. He's got a heck of a load on his trailer. <laughs> you got, it's the little things that make life interesting and fun. Right? Right? I think how many kids and grown up kids like me that guy just made happy. Made me smile. And then, and then driving into Flagstaff, a bunch of snow up on the mountain. Snow on the mountains. The temperature is 56 degrees. It's about 75 when I left Vegas. All right. Well, I got to get busy. Get this thing off so he can go. I, I like my little hitch hauler here. These sell for 100 bucks new at Harbor Freight. I gave $30 for it. But I wanted to get my generator out of the weather and I wanted some more storage. And of course opening the door and stuff was difficult with the generator sitting there because this rack is, is just solid and fixed. It doesn't swivel out. Hey Martini. Hey Daddy. 
man, are we ready to go yet? You quit rushing me. But my little generator has already been out in the weather for two days. And it just bothers me. That's not how I like to take care of equipment. But uh, now it'll be nice, safe, and secure and out of the weather. All right. Got the stowaway 2 installed. Got the, uh, what we call it, anti-wobble kit on it. It's hitch keeps, tightener. It keeps it from rattling. They call it a, a hitch tightener. Yeah, I'll get the, my wiring out here. But I got to move my tag and set it on the back. But these lights work once the, uh, the wiring's in, installed. So I just got to plug it up. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Well, the tag is now installed. People keep asking me, said, Kevin, what's a hip ciggy? And I say, you know what? I don't have any idea. <laughs> you got to give this Westphalia an honorable mention. Historic vehicle. I don't know what year it is. Pop top, roof rack, propane. Nice tires. Isn't that thing pretty? Okay. I gotta figure out what to do with this rack. Sedona is one pretty place. I like it here a lot. You got a good taste, Martini. It's getting late in the afternoon. I'm gonna go back out here and see if the BLM, there's room for me on the BLM. Stay the night. I'm tired of driving. I'm ready to ready to park. It's gonna take me a minute to get there though. Ooh -wee. Got to be one of the prettiest places I've seen out here. Dirt road <clears throat> getting back here. I think it's 525 A and B five. I can't remember. But uh, <clears throat> it's rougher than it was last year, for certain. They had these uh, Jeep tours back in here, and all these ATVs. Hushed up. He gets excited when he sees a dirt road. We've been on it for quite a while though. Um, yeah, the road's a little bit rougher. Maybe there'll be a campsite. It's the weekend. So maybe I can find a campsite for us. Here's the place I was headed for. Maybe they got room for one more in here. We got, we got a towable, got an old GMC, got a new Dodge with a slide. Look at there. First I've seen of that. I believe I can get right here. Look at that old GMC. Mid 70s. Look at the airbag suspension under there. Look at my view. Boy, this phone is, camera's jumping, jumping, jumping. I sure hope it comes out okay. Camped here last year when a lady's elderly dog, she was camping in a tent back here. It wandered off and we all looked for hours and hours and hours. This is the same campsite. That dog, it walked back a mile and a half. Guy found it on a, riding a dirt bike back there. This is this is gonna be home for a day or two. Look at that Sedona red dirt. Come on, Martini. Good baby. Good baby. 
You let me have it. You let me have it. Man, I want it. Tucker, Martini will bite your ears. She's warning you. <laughs> Baby May May used to play fetch, but Martini was too mean to her, so she's afraid to do it. She don't play anymore. Sometimes she'll sneak and get it and run off and steal it. It's the next day, and I'm sitting back in the shade. Boy, has it got warm out here. I, uh, I bought a little swamp cooler that, uh, I never had a swamp cooler before, but I'm learning how to use it. Boy, is it sure, boy, sure is it coming in handy. <laughs> Here's my swamp cooler right here, made by Mighty Cool. Um, www.swampy.net and um, I'm having pretty good success with it. It sits up here on the bed with me. I vent the hose pipe out beyond the curtains and I turn on my fantastic fan right here to do to exhaust out the moisture and the heat. Now best I can tell now it's not air conditioning but a cool breeze is a cool breeze. I'm glad I got it so far. I've heard some people say they weren't happy with theirs, but I'm happy with mine. Yeah, um, I'm enjoying my little stow and go box. It seems to be very good quality. Also enjoying a good sunset too. Take a look at this picture. We had a beautiful sunset here last night. What a gorgeous place to don't again. But like all my videos, this one's got to come to an end too. So I'm in this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. Don't forget, if you like my videos, please give me the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Okay, gotta go. See you next time. Bye-bye.